IITA, the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, is one of Africa's leading research partners in finding solutions for hunger and poverty. 40 years of award-winning science. We employ an Africa-wide network of world-class scientists who anticipate future issues and are flexible to meet new challenges. Our agricultural research reduces consumer and producer risk, increases productivity and generates wealth. So let us look at four examples of IITA's work. Cassava is the main staple of over 300 million people in Africa. We continuously look for solutions to pests, diseases and drought. For example, the cassava brown streak. For now, there's not really any resistant uh, cassava varieties that are resistant to the, this particular virus. And we know that there's techniques that have been developed overseas that have been shown to work in other crops. This is then a suitable biotechnology project for us. In the coastal region of Tanzania alone, Annual losses from brown streak have been estimated at $50 million. But cassava is much more than a staple crop. More emphasis should be given to research and development of the crop such that we can force a breakthrough in agricultural research on cassava such that it will serve as the engine for agricultural development and sub subsequently socioeconomic growth in sub-Saharan Africa. You have to expand its utilization so that it will increase the demand that would encourage farmers to produce more. We believe that food security is not just putting a meal on the table, but also putting money in people's pockets. Yam is a major staple food and source of income for over 60 million people in Africa, with more than 90% of the world's annual yam production of about 40 million tons. Yam is a part of the culture. We've taken the traditional varieties that have limitations in terms of yield potential and then also susceptibility to diseases and pests and then improved on this through studies on the genetic potential. National program partners can now use the range of varieties, pass it on to the farmers and the farmers, processors and consumers can all benefit. Chocolate, a treat for you and me. IITA's public-private partnership with the cocoa industry has shown how high-tech research can have socio-economic benefits. About 60% of the world's supply of cocoa comes from Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria and Cameroon. Groundbreaking work over many years on sequencing genotypes has been undertaken by our scientists. The outcome of our project allowed us to uh, make recommendations for developing future strategies in each particular country. This partnership has directly led to the regeneration of cocoa plantations, improved work practices, production techniques and income. <laughs> The reason why it was possible to re-establish the company is that the output of cocoa, raw cocoa beans has gone up. We've made a long-term commitment to collect and conserve the germplasm of Africa's main staple food crops. The benefit of a gene bank is uh, linked to the diversity that you keep in the bank. This gene bank really should answer the need of future generation. So it has all to do with uh, food security. These were just a few examples of our work. We continue to commit ourselves to operate effectively throughout sub-Saharan Africa, rapidly responding to different challenges and ever-changing producer and consumer needs. Working closely, with local, national and international partners.